It's the funny number. Hey, welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I'm Sir Maths, and the last time we took out Zorin's group as part of the Three Ravens at Ed Quest. And this time, we are going to finish the side quest by taking care of Isol and the rules of the hunt. So let's, uh, let's go pop in by, by Isol and Hexen and the lot. I knew you'd come. Uh, you did? What? Don't tell me you haven't heard of all the rumors flying around about you. They say the Ouroboros rebels are making maneuvers to control County 11. When did that all start? So how about it? You gonna torture us until we do what you want? That's a big fat nope. I'll just text you, boss. Sorry, he's just out in there in a private nature. Private? Where'd you go? That's... well, I probably could tell you, but it's not something I'll do for... Got an awful feeling about this. The thing is, the captain requested provisions and get them to her. Our stores are empty at a very bad time. I mean, the kind of scum and idiots we have in Colony 11 are pretty greedy appetites. Alright. So yeah, we need to pick up 10 obsidian berries and monstrum mangoes each. That's a lot and it's all fruit. Captain Diesel's favorites. He's a major sickler for sweet stuff. Whatever, so if you bring what you need, you'll take Diesel. But of course, good luck now. Uh, obsidian berries. I do not know where to find obsidian berries. Um, we would go into here and we collected the name. We can certainly find some obsidian berries. Uh, they are quite far down, however, because it is with the letter O. Obsidian berries and pencil. I guess warning tree? Oh. Is that- is there actually much to that quest at all? Uh, let me double check something. Let me just fix this. <sighs> okay, so while we're here, we actually have another quest that we can pretty easily take care of. While we're- Jesus, hold up. What the hell? What? What in the hell? I don't know what that was all about. Um, I was just double checking what the quest was. Because, yes, there is a quest down here, which we need to kind of sneak our way around the lower map, the Wildwood. I, I hope there's obsidian berries over here on this level, but I don't actually know. Uh, because there's a side quest all the way over there. Uh, you can do this one right now. Uh, you will not need to fight any enemies for it. You just need to be very cautious about where you're at. And of course, climbing quite a bit. There's Spartan Fennec, a level 7... Well, I mean, yeah. Just keep in mind where unique monsters are. Will be important for later use. We can keep dipping around. Looping, looping. It doesn't look like obsidian berries are over here. Huh. I just haven't seen any. This, again, this is one of the more dangerous... Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the second highest leveled area in the game, or it might even be the single highest. Um, tied with the very... Absolute, like, the final dungeon. This is similar level to that. Um, this is the real dangerous part. Climbing around here. He's got a lot of gobbles. We get Jinjin's treehouse. And also, it does not look like there are any obsidian berries over here. Um, but. Oh well. Maybe. Um, let's go. Hello, Jinjin. 
do you live all alone out here in the forest? Jin Jin go wherever wind blow, make strong deadline lion fluffs. Huh? Time for Jin Jin to choose best tree shade to nap by and chasing brown butterfly. I guess the wildwood life. Always nice to have more friends. And we need to find Jin Jin's tracks. Um, I'm just double checking where sitting berries are at. Uh, let's double. Um, hold up. There's another sec. Okay. Uh, they're above the area, I think. I don't think they really spawn in the lower wildwood. We're going to knock open the traps. And also, while we're here, we can steal from him a little bit. He's dropped down. And just keep following the tracks. Keep following the little, little stubby knop on legs. No, little, little nap on footprints. And just follow them where they lead. Be very cautious around the goal. Some of the enemies do despawn during this quest, which is very, uh, very helpful. But also not perfect. And... Can I jump over here? Or do they? Where, where am I at? Okay. Does he actually go across? Really? Water makes silence. No croak, no trip, no want of touch, and time of Jinjin to melt clean away. What does it mean? Perhaps she's given us some sort of warning. Jinjin walks with Jinjin, he a voice of ground. And off you pop once again. So we'll still track him down. So it's a good thing that we're at Senna because in Stock Blast are all about tracking. Tracking folks down. Ooh, spooky. Spooky, spooky, spooky. So yeah, a lot less enemies down here since we have this quest active. Since we're following the track. I think it might just be since the tracks are active. Um, but still. It doesn't look like we got much around here. For yeah, I don't think Obsidian Berry spawned down here. Which is a shame, but... Still could find them fairly easily. Morning sunrise in bed run away. Jinjin chase dreams all the way to here. Ugh. Maybe this is her favorite place? Rain and dew make hands of blue. Ultramarine for precise hue. Jinjin show the way. I mean, Jinjin definitely is acknowledging us. Which is... Nice, I guess. We are getting pretty close to that unique monster, though. Which I'm not the biggest fan of. Also, I thought Jinjin Treehouse was a skip travel point. It is not. There is another skip travel point somewhere here, but I don't remember exactly where. Uh, it's a bit. It's a pretty big area, and also a very scary area. Again, with lots of very high-level enemies. Um, that's a pretty big ether. It's a pretty big looking ether, ether channel. Sweet ether. Yeah, I'd say it's uh pretty big. What, 15? Yeah, oh, they gave us about seven, I think. Jinjin not go any further. Only thoughts run ahead. Jinjin want to avoid love raspberry stain spreading. I'm saying there's something dangerous up ahead. Soon it's time to give chairs of travelers back to Tartan Ladybird. Well, I will say, he does have my interest peaked. But we're uh, we we stopped by during another mission. Um, hmm, I could potentially do this. Could potentially walk down there because I think the other skip travel point is down that way. I'm being very cautious around these Geshus. 
very, very cautious indeed. There's some playing by around some ranas, which are much scarier. Um, why can't I remember what the? Well, they're just brokes, aren't they? The much scarier, much scarier versions of the big frogs. They're big scary frogs. Got some plambuses. Some plambuses, some gobles. Just a big scary area for us to deal with. Jinjin, feel tickling chest when you hear words. Tomorrow, Jinjin, have a conversation with birds. Aren't you lonesome on your own, Jinjin? Do you want us to take you to a colony or a caravan or something? Jinjin, fine. Jinjin waiting for day when seven anvils ring. Only after then will Jinjin leave garden. I see, there's something you have to do. Oh, huh. Well, I guess we'll come back and see you someday. Indeed, that is something that we will want to keep in mind. Until the day when seven anvils ring, she will remain in the garden. That is actually something that, again, do want to keep in mind a little bit. Because that is actually part of a very, very important side quest later on. Um, one of the bigger side quests in the game in terms of import. I am. You know what? I'm. I'm. My my curiosity has been piqued over here, so I'm going to. Oh shit! That's the elevator to Tao, isn't it? Some ultra pure gemstones. Is this, yes, this is the elevator up to Tau. So yeah, now we can go uh, whenever we need to get back to Jin Jin's treehouse. This is a much easier way to get there. So now we can just go through the, the elevator. Make your way through Tau. Uh, do we survive this? No. Well, we spawn down here anyway, so it's... Ah, oh, we spawn at the watchtower. Regardless, this is actually the area that we'll want to be at for the obsidian berries. Um, should be... Around the area. It's near, near Turk and Hold. Where they spawn most likely. So yeah, if we dip on over here, this should... Oh, we can... Let's restart the quest. Um, Rules of the Hunt. They should- they- they are around this area. I believe at least. Yeah. Yeah. Two over here. So. Pop in a couple of those. I think you can find some on your way down to the lower wildwood. But I guess there aren't any actually in the lower wildwood. I'm pretty sure that... Uh, fruit spawns are not the most common down there. You'll get some, sure, but it's not terribly often that you'll find them. And I hope there's some that are actually down this a ways. And I'll still pick up the items as I go through, but, you know. I'm happy to pass by. I think each spot has its own chance of like a different type of item appearing, and each type of item has its own little drop table. It's the way that collect uh, that collection orbs or any collectible spots work in these games is very confused. Not necessarily unknown. Unknown would be a little bit too high of a word for that, but they're. They're not the most clear. Uh, they're... Again, like, I think each one does have, like, its own drop table of different spawns. And whenever I redo Xenoblade 2, I'll probably just, like, actually have some of that on hand. Like, for especially, for especially annoying fat, uh, collection quests. Uh, like, I know there's one in... Two that was I think it was like ten missing trees or something. It took me like forty minutes in the first in the in the in the let's play. It was kinda ridiculous. But sometimes RPG quests will be like that. 
not as bad in single player RPGs as it is in MMORPGs. Uh, those can get real annoying with just you uh, the the classic you need to collect 20 bear asses um, in order to I need help someone please help me with my 20 a bear asses which bear as in b e a r not b a r e those are very different things um, one of them is a fantasy collection quest the other one is working for Playboy so you know pretty big difference there anyway what is <laughs> we can just keep on going along come on where's that last obsidian berry I know you're here somewhere I know you're here somewhere and if you're not then I will jump off this cliff I might do it anyways because it will I know that the, where they spawn down there, so... Uh... Yeah, you know what? I think... Oh no, I slipped! Whatever will I do? Oh no! no! Ah! I actually thought we were gonna pop into the... I thought we were gonna get in that loading zone. I thought we would actually die from fall damage, but I think there's just a death plane there. And of course it takes a while to respawn. Uh, the very wooded areas always have trouble being rendered because there's a lot of stuff going on with the trees. Um, I mean, I believe this area runs better than the Magna Woods um, in Xenoblade 1, the forest, that, the forest of the Napon. But it's mainly loading issues. Yeah, way quicker to just go and do that. And anyways, back to the bleh. I don't know why I sound like that. Back to the canteen. Who Gemini Strike is? Oh yeah, you can't you can't play as lands until yeah you don't get to play as anyone other than Uni and Noah until after. I'm feeling like I could eat. Come is there anything to smack off? Hello, Hexen. Wow, can't believe you actually brought it all! Thank you so much, gotta love good natured blockheads like you. Like, can you stop talking like that? It's really rubbing me the wrong way. Oh yeah? Well, maybe I don't much like the way you talk down to me, feathers. Anyway, a promise is a promise. Why don't I guide you to Captain Easel? We'll be heading to Caitlin Drum. And so over to Maglia Lake. Hopefully this is an area that's like above or below. You might be above, honestly. Maybe the Caitlin Drum is just like the region that Magley Lake is in. I don't know. And oh god damn, it's on the table land. Okay. Uh, Conqueror's Peak is our highest vantage point on here. LT Spout still might be too low. Okay, it is just... Um, we. I know we picked up some of the Levin's parts over there. We drop down here. And I'm surprised how little there... Ah, that's where it is. I was about to say, I'm surprised how little there was for that, but you got a platform one more level down to get some gemstones. And some pure gemstones at that. Um, probably before we advance on with the main story, so, you know, next, like, beginning of next time, I think then we'll, we'll go through, check if we can get any gemstones up, which would just be on me for getting equipment. You're late, Hexen. So sorry, Captain. I was all tied up by these characters. I'm not a liar. What are you doing out here alone? Hunting. Hunting? Captain Easel, these people here want your unit to belong to them. You can shut your trap. This will make things complicated. Keep your voices down. It'll stir my prey. I'm sorry. 
I know, Captain. Why do you have these know nothings help you on your hunt? What did we ever do to you? Very well. You may join the hunt. No, we don't. Prey is near. We'll track it. Follow me. Oops, looks like things got complicated. I'll deal with you later. Got some evil tricks. Boop, boop. I'm surprised the Shira hasn't... I don't think the Shira said anything about Easel yet. Maybe it'll just be after the quest that... Like, oh, Easel has always been... Easel likes nachos really well. I don't know why I use that voice for Shira. That's really the... You know, you got the, the strong, tough guy, you got a really hot, big, hot head in Zorin, but Easel is a good, a good middle ground, I should say, about her. But yep, yeah, uh, we just follow these tracks. We did a lot of track following in this because of our, our, our detour with Jinjin. Jin. But again, that is a quest that will be pretty important later on. Uh, so just keep it in mind that it is useful. Uh, Jinjin. Jin. Again, seven, uh, was it seven or nine? I think it was seven anvils. Did have a big hammer on his back as well, so again, it's a, uh, how, I don't know if that, does that un unlock in five or six? There's seven chapters in the game, and I don't remember exact, and obviously in chapter four, nearly at the end of chapter four. I don't remember if that side quest is in chapter five or six. Um, I think I roughly know who gives it, um, and I, I know the general gist of it, as well as a couple of the things that we need to look for. Brogs, yeah. Um, but I just don't remember exactly when it is, and if it's the one I'm thinking of, it actually does, again, you have some very good rewards. And might be the use of the shorts? There's a lot of stuff about the quest that I, I'm like, borderline remembering, but not fully. When stuff was like, okay, I think I know exactly, like, I, I'm pretty sure, like, 90% sure I know what's, what's up with it. But, like, there's that 10% that's like, I don't, the, the finer details start slipping me by at that point. But, it's fine. We can deal with it. We keep going along. This is a, I, I like the characters. Like pretty much all the characters. I don't think there's any like bad character in this game, even with side characters. A lot of side characters are pretty fun. Halt. Hang on, those peoples are your prey. <laughs> Bit small, aren't they? Kind of let down. Ah, greenhorns can be such trouble. What? Here it comes. <gasps> What the spark is that? Now the real hunt begins. Everyone's not fading apart? Follow me. Come, Hexen. Yes, ma'am. Come along, Greenhorns. Try not to slow us down. I know you can stick your Greenhorn. I gotta love it. Hello, Big Bird. He had just ends a level 46. We beat Clad. This should be no big deal whatsoever. That was a level 49 unique monster. And while he was a lot smaller than this buddy here. Ooh, I don't know if we got the extra launch. I don't think we got the extra launch game because it was launched. I think like I think we got launched right after our attack hit. It's very inconvenient timing. Uh Rabbit Chat, I think usually. I want to say when it's fully leveled up has like only a six recharge as opposed to the eight that it has right now. But I there's a lot of stuff that I don't again back to that point of a lot of stuff that I don't quite remember. I know the general gist of things, but it's the finer details slip. We can definitely get the extra damage on that one from the launch. Extra damage from the side as well. Let's step back just a bit. And power charge. Uh, 
Really? We actually managed to draw some aggro. Drawing aggro is the stalker, not something you usually see. Again, they're they're very good at drawing aggro. But some they're good at drawing aggro, but also since they do a lot of damage, can be a bit much at times. I I usually forget about the fact that you do have the dash move to quickly maneuver around the battlefield. Um, I don't think there's a need to really use. I don't think we need to use a fan attack here. I think that's just a bit unnecessary. Um, oh. I think they just grabbed aggro onto us for literally like a few seconds. But you know what? They can grab our Boros in. And big explosion takes him out. Goodbye, bird. Bye bye, birdie. I hate that. I hate that new school. That's a fine hunt, Captain Easel. Very well done. I think it might be a new record. No, this isn't anything like what I want. I have a long way to go before I can hunt the prey. I wish to hunt with all my heart. Does that mean we can end the hunt now? We're not done yet. Take the prey back to Colony 11. What? Are you ain't serious? Hey now, don't dilly dally. Won't stay fresh for long. What do we have to? So, back to the Colony 11 canteen we go, pop on over. I like popping on over a lot. It's big on over. Let me move on here. Loading in, there we go. Yeah, we, we know you can eat a Shira. We've been waiting, Captain. How'd the hunt go? No issues. Good to work, Brand. <laughs> oh, I've been waiting for this. Um, I think guess we'll be off. Sit down. It's be over soon. Ah, you don't think we'll just let you go? Uh, so this meat wouldn't be. Assuming your kill is also part of the hunt. I knew the Queen's wing. Just let us go. This is it edible? I think so. It actually looks kind of good. Everything we use here is brought to us by the captain, you know. And turning whatever piece of crap meat we find into masterpiece falls to me, Brandon. Hey, give us something, Dodgy. Now, you wish to speak with me. I thought this all uh, going on completely forgot. You would take control of Colony Left and do as you please. I have no objections. I'm surprised to hear you say that. Is that really what you want? I'm not doing this out of goodwill. I have my own reasons. To me, all of you are no different than those Capibas. Bait. Bait, eh? Not prey. No, your bait and Sashira who sunk her teeth into you. Your talents are what attract my prize. How can I ignore such a lure? You'll continue to lure the highest quality prey from your Ouroboros. <laughs> so I can give Sashira a run for her money in the crazy stakes. This conversation is over. Now, eat as much as you want. Give thanks to the creature's blood and flesh. Make its life your own. This is what elevates us. This is the hunt. I like how we grew Manana. No discussion, they're digging in. And that completes Rules of the Hunt. Shot Always nice to have more friends. And no comments on Easel. Okay. Really? I hope everyone's getting along. Really? Alright. That's fine. Down we go to the three ravens themselves. Oh, if it isn't a share in the Ouroboros Rebels. Oh, three ravens have alighted. What can we do for you? Let's get straight to the point. We'll be waiting at the first HC bridge. Uh, and? Well, you tell us what you want. Hmm, something tells me you're being serious this time. We've told you what you need to know. Don't keep us waiting. Set as ever. They come here, barely say anything, have the gold to tell us not to keep him waiting. Hmm. A challenge from those three. I've got a bad feeling about this. 
I've got a pretty good idea what the deal is here. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's pretty obvious. I mean, also, I did kind of spoil it a little bit. But, oh well. Yeah, I'm just... We're, we're doing our hurdles practice, Senna. Hurdles. Woo! I could never do hurdling. It's, it's too difficult for me. And we are as requested. Now tell us what you want. What else? But before we get to that, Shira, I want to ask you something. Let's not stand on ceremony. Shoot. The way I hear it, these rebels are looking to take control of Connie Eleven. And you must be the one who, who sicked them on us. Now I wonder, where could you have possibly heard that from? No, that you're wrong. I see, you must have really taken a shine to them. Again, I wouldn't say you were wrong. So, what are you trying to say? If you're wanting to give up control of the colony to this lot, then I say have at it. But if you think we'll just let you go with a little parade after all the beatings you've given us... Ah, and here it comes. I've always dreamed of hunting the beast that dwells within you. Making my dream come true, Ashira. It makes us the best hunt of our lives. Well, now you're finally going to settle things with me. But if that's what you want, why call these people out? I thought I was the one you want. Because they've earned your recognition, Ashira. And I wish to fight not just you, but Ouroboros one more time. Only you people can give me the pain, the satisfaction. Nothing for. Honestly, didn't know this guy could speak. It doesn't really fit his image. Well, I never. I didn't think I'd ever hear your voice again in this life, Clad. So the three of you are really serious about this. I'm sorry, friends, but I need to ask you a favor. I don't know how I'd come to this. I praise your powers of foresight. Will you refuse? Let's just say you owe me one. I'm ready to pay up later. Soren, Isol, Clad, there's no more need for words. You wanted this, and now you'll get it. A fight to the death! Oh god, they lied in the... They completely lied. They said it. Uh, I just double-checked the... the quest stuff before this, uh, and they said they'd be level 49. They are not level 49. I don't think I can do this fight. Gonna be honest. Yeah. You know what? Let's just... No chance at that one. Not, not a goddamn chance. But, um... Yeah. Uh, since that quest was way higher level than I thought, uh, that'll actually be it for this time. Uh, well, taking care of the three ravens will probably... Uh, start off our chapter 5 traipsing, but that will not be until next time. We'll also, uh, whatever friends want, it for sale. Uh, thanks so much, pleasant business. I'll talk to the, the colony looking people before. I don't think I can remember the last time I saw the boss in such high spirits. <laughs> he never says a word and hides his face, I think you can see why. You just have to get used to his ways. You should get to know us better, Rebels. Hello, Knockhart. <gasps> Out of my sight! Just seeing your face is my blood boiling! Is that any way to talk to us, seeing as we so kindly helped you with your training, as requested? Lies! Then the reason you helped is because you trashed our Levenesses. I guess it's not wrong. Ah, if it wasn't for Kevin Clad's orders, I'd tear you apart right now! Well, uh, it is thanks to Captain Clad's orders, so why don't you uh, shut up? So I have a couple more people to talk to. Hello, Hexen. Oh boy, Hexen, hi. That hunt was fun. You should definitely join us again to carry our prey home. Someday I'm gonna make you talk straight. Now <laughs> you say the oddest thing. Then do it if you can. We can definitely get up to rank three with the colony, right? Just have like one person to talk to. Two people. Because we have Strider, Brandon, and uh, Widow. You must be something if you can win over Zora like that. He may have a screw loose just like our glorious leader, but he makes a kind of sense. Please try and get to know him. If he starts getting obsessed with you, maybe I can get some unauthorized R and R. Wow, a sane person in Colony Eleven. What in the hell? And really, no, no widow. All right. 
Well, with a uh, rather abrupt end to things. Oh god, we can't even go around them, can we? Uh, next time, we finally start actually setting out for the castle. But until then, see you guys later!